This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy, Gamefly, Netflix, and the new reality show Horse Face and Giant Hair, starring Kevin Rose as Horse Face and Alex Albrecht as Giant Hair. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I know this is Southern. Earlier. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You put zombie, and you put eerie in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hey everyone, we need your help. We want to tell you about the next Dignation live show that's happening in Las Vegas, Nevada on the early evening of August the 5th, our first show ever from Las Vegas. We want to know how many of you might be coming to the show so that we can make sure to accommodate all of you. Help us out by going to facebook.com slash Dignation and RSVP. Hey everybody, welcome to Dignation episode number 210. I'm Kevin Rose. It's actually 208. I'm Alex Albrecht. <laughs> Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website. Dig.com, that's D I G dot com. Why are you guys telling me it was 210 before we started? I don't know what you're talking about, Kevin. It's 208. All right, it's 208. <laughs> uh, we we're are sitting in a wonderful couch here in New York. Yes. Uh, we're still out here. We've been here for three months now. Three months. <laughs> uh, my fiance is wondering where I am, uh, but I will be home soon, honey. Uh, so we're drinking, actually, this is a, a, a Blue Point Company Long Island toasted lager. Bling, Bling Point. Long Island. Mm. 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 Let's give it a little taste, a little whirl. That's, oh, it's carbonated. Don't that, don't that, aerate it. That's beer. That's beer. It's good. It's a nice, quick, crisp, crisp taste. Not too bitter, but a bitter, little, bitter, bitter, bitter. Little hoppy. Little hoppy. Little um. Mm hmm. Getting a little bit of chestnuts. Nice. Those are dancing on the tongue there. I see. Mm, a little bit of pearl necklace. Mm mm. Meteor. I'm not getting the pearl necklace. Meteorite. But I'm getting, a little meteorite. A little meteorite. Don't we have meteorite, dude. Oh. We, got, we got meteorites today. Dude. God, I love these Squarespace guys. This is going to hurt. Whoa. So this is actually, this is given to us by the, uh, the, the guys over at Squarespace. Uh, they gave us a couple of these. These are meteorites from space. <laughs> now, we know they're from space because they're called meteorites. Actually, what is it? It's a meteor before it hits the atmosphere, and it's a meteor right after it comes into the Earth's atmosphere. I think that's yes. the deal. Uh, this is the weirdest thing. So this was found it's... in 1947. Oh, you fucker. This is the one you stuck up your nose. Yeah. Oh, I watched it. I watched Did it. you not wash no, it? Yeah, yeah, it's not the nose meteorite, is it? Soap and water. Soap and water on your meteorite? Right? thought it would be I funny. don't think that is true. When, no, we, were, is. <laughs> when we were at the Squarespace, Glenn like, looks over at me, and he's like, blunk, up his nose. He's like, look, meteor on my nose. <laughs> it's... it's one, dude. No, I, I put soap and water on it. I forgot that he did that. Antibacterial. That's, that's awesome. All right. Any Hoobers. Uh, so we're still here in New York City. We have uh, uh, a lovely, lovely uh, view behind us. It's a little uh, cloudy. A little overcast. A little overcast, but you know what? Still good. We are still happy good. to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, let's kick things off with the first story of the day. Yes. This one is a really fascinating story about it is. a new documentary on ABC. All right. 1,453 people dug this story submitted by the... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. How, do you, how do you spell that? Is it phonetically? What is that? <laughs> That's L A B B R R. Submitted by the Charik. Oh. Um, teens in ABC documentary, Oral Sex is the new Goodnight Kiss. Hello. Why am I not a teenager nice again? Nice to meet you. Be like, wow, that was really good. Goodnight Kiss, uh, blowjob? Right. Yeah, all right. Uh, kiss on the cheek or a blowjob? Uh, go with the blowjob. It's like, I don't know you well enough for a kiss on the cheek. That's uh, right. <laughs> so after four years of researching for the documentary, Azam told Good Morning America that oral sex is as common as kissing for teens and that oh. casual prostitution oh, that is what? being paid at parties to strip, give sexual favors, or have sex is a far more commonplace than once believed. All right. First off, there's some sort of awesomeness happening there. <laughs> I agree with that. In <laughs> a right. weird way. In a weird way. It's a little bit like when you play doctor as a kid, and then all of a sudden you, it's like... You get paid to be a doctor. I want, I want to be a doctor. <laughs> and doctors need money to have a Porsche. So I'm going to play doctor with you, but you need to give me 20 bucks. Hmm. So let's, let's break these down. Let's go one at a time. Let's go one at a time. First of all, let's talk about the casual prostitution. Okay. Let's say you're at a party. Yeah. 
And this girl who's blazing hot. <laughs> blazing. Is like, I'll do a little strip. It's good. It costs twenty dollars. <laughs> first off, I know. First off, Dude, I'm did she my just voice. get did she just get punched in the trachea? <laughs> Secondly, if she did, we should give her an extra twenty because some maybe she tripped and hit a coffee table or something with her throat. <laughs> Either that or clearly it's a dude. <laughs> Hold it's a all strip for you for twenty dollars. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Yeah. Oh. Sexy Get ready for this. Sexy dancing. Dancing sexy. <laughs> That's not my car. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just a girl with an Audi. <laughs> what? Let me talk that. One sec. Did you? Do you guys ever watch? Do you remember that Quiznos campaign with those weird mice? I love these subs. Because oh, yeah. they are good to <laughs> eat. <laughs> Up. Anyway, that sounds like you're a stripper. Okay, so 20 bucks, <laughs> she's hot, blazing hot, and you're like, I got a 20. You know what? It's like you pay people to mow your lawn. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I, I didn't mean it like that, <laughs> you fuckers. No, no I'm, I'm really, I'm like, I'm really right, excited. Man. I'm really I, excited to see how this goes. You pay people to clean your house. You okay. pay people who give you gr groceries. Wait, hold on. What stripping is not illegal, <clears throat> all right? Okay, it's not but, illegal. Right, but what about okay. the other casual prostitution? You pay, well, let's, go, let's talk about the stripping first. Okay. You pay people to do a job, do a service. It's just under the table. The or under age it, oh, table. It's the age thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you're a teenager, you can work with a work permit at 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm can kidding. I get a strip permit, please? I'm 16 and I'd really like to start stripping. <clears throat> Oh my god. I'm kidding. Call Chris Hansen. We should call Chris Hansen. Yeah, yeah, call Chris Hansen. Like, Chris, Chris uh, oh, sorry. We, we need Chris sitting on the side of our couch at all times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, so we can just, just be like, meh. Like, shock us. I like, think you. Uh, he needs to hook up like, some type of a shocking device. Have you done to... this before? And we're like, yes, sorry, Chris Hansen. <laughs> okay, let's just say she's 18. All right. Is that a bad? Is it wrong? I don't think it's bad for for the guys. I think it's kind of shitty for the girl who's like, yeah, I'm just gonna go. What if ahead it's a guy strip. stripping? Nobody would pay a guy fifty bucks a strip. What if it was girls? That's the whole point. Girls are not gonna pay. You know why? Because they don't need to pay a guy to strip. Most of the time, they'd be paying guys to keep their fucking pants on at parties. True. It's like I don't know what kind of parties you go to, but guys <laughs> get drunk and they're like, I'm gonna take my pants off. It's like, bro, bro, bro. Like, There's no girls here. There's no girls what here. What's going on? Well, I thought. Uh, uh, can I my pants? <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. Okay, so the real thing is going to be the sexual favors. Is the I'll give you twenty bucks to, to blow me right now. Oh my god, this is so funny. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, we're sort of glossing over the hard, the sort of hard questions. Because well, that's our show. It's I, hard questions. I, I I definitely think that <clears throat> prostitution a way to make money by prostituting yourself is is a bad thing. Right, and, and it's also illegal. Right. Yes. So, so we're consensus. But the uh, the oral kiss is the new good night <laughs> kiss. The oral kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you just named it a new thing. So would you like to have a mouth kiss or an oral kiss? <laughs> you can kiss me on the cheek or oral kiss, whatever you like. <laughs> a pee pee kiss or a regular kiss? It's up to you. I, I don't. I don't. I, I'm down for both kisses. So you see what I'm saying? Now that's 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 weird to me. Well, it's a little bit like you know, there's that whole thing. There's that whole sort of weird thing about like staying a virgin but doing almost everything else up oh, to I it. Oh, I knew a guy like that. I, and a friend like, of mine was Mormon, <clears throat> and yeah. uh, one of my good buddies, and he's like, I can do everything but sex. And he's You're like, like, what do you like call having, sex? Like, threesomes with like hot chicks. Yeah. And like, we're like, well, we didn't have sex. And it's like, oh, you did everything else. Yeah, you're like, once the thing goes in anywhere, it's sex. Yeah. If you do something and, it, and it's on their face, it's sex. That's a good point. Hmm? Um, anyway. So, I don't almost say congrats. Congratulations to all the <laughs> teens having sex out there. Good time. Let's move on to Microsoft. Well, one thing. <laughs> okay. One thing before we get go on, I do want to say there are a lot of uh, people watching this show, and uh, they should practice safe sex at all times. Sega Use sex rubbers. is very good. You Use rubbers. Use rubbers, as Glenn likes to say. Use rubbers. <laughs> or Glenn's gym, or Glenn's gym been hats. saying rubber all day long in the car. Rubber and slacks. Rubber and slacks. Well, he's, he what, said slacks. What dream were you having last night where you get in the car and you're like, rubber, slacks, pudding? Pudding. I'm no, not even going to talk pudding. All right. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Microsoft Bing is freaking amazing. 4,368 people dug this story submitted by RT Abla. Uh, so Microsoft has 
uh, released their new web search engine, and it's called Bing. Have you used it at all? I've, I've used been playing it. with it a it little bit. It is really c pretty slick. Are you just saying that because it's Microsoft? Not probably. at all, actually, because I I try I got onto the Windows Live or whatever it was, couldn't couldn't get into it, and now I'm. What I've decided to do is I was like, right, that's pretty slick. Search volume, <clears throat> right? There's a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, the the thing that they are showing here, which is really cool, is that if you actually search Bing for Win XP serial numbers. You can, there's this cool thing where you can hover over to the side and it'll show you a preview of some of the text from the site. And they actually have this thing where you hover over and it's all of these Windows XP serial numbers that are showing up in the search. What did you just it search just, for? When I hovered over a video, it started playing it. Look at it. It's That's awesome too. Is it though? Damn it, it won't stop. Okay, I'm out. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, so Microsoft Bing, so I've, I've been trying it. I think it's really good. It's, it's clean like, it's still clean like Google, but has a little bit more of a, of a, of a nice look to it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the other interesting thing is every day they have a different image, and on that image there's information about the thing. So if you go back, okay. you're doing something cool. I'm, I like what I'm you're doing. I'm trying to travel search on it. Okay, go ahead. I'm back at Bing. So now if you hover over, just hover over this picture. You see those things? Yeah. So hover it over, and it's information about the picture. Oh. Like little facts about the picture. Like Thailand's the only country in Southeast Asia who's never been colonized by European power. Mm. So it's these cool little itty bitty like almost like knowledge Easter eggs or Easter eggs. Mm. Nobody, nobody's gonna appreciate the I Easter, like eggs. Easter eggs. That's all right, okay? Because I'm gonna start planting Easter eggs in every show, <laughs> and you're not gonna know. You're gonna be like, somebody's gonna be like, oh man, I wish I knew when the cell phone was invented. And you'll be like, oh, the cell phone was invented in 1984 by the Motorola Corporation. How do you know that? I must egg. have been an Easter egg in one of the Dignation episodes. This I didn't I, even know I was getting it. This I don't like. What is it? It says, want to see it again? Install Silverlight. You can now go back and see the homepage images and hotspots from the prior week, but you have to install Silverlight. What's wrong with installing Silverlight? Why don't you have Silverlight already installed? Don't hiss at Silverlight. <laughs> <laughs> you can hiss at really evil things, but Silverlight... Silverlight is just flash I think that's the first on time steroids. I've ever on the show. I know. That's how <laughs> that's how much venom you have stored up for Microsoft. It is weird. It came out of nowhere. I don't know why you hissed. My phone is buzzing. Can you do it again? I see it. No, I'm not doing it again. Bro, what happened to airplane mode? Why did you get off the airplane mode, babe? Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So anyway, so I'm excited about Bing. I like that there's an alternative. I, I never really felt like I had an option except to go to Google.com oh, for, for Google's. Well, I would try Excite. the other ones, but they were like, meh, I always felt like I wasn't quite getting what I could get. You know, that really? was my phone that really? was Silverlight being installed. Now I can go back to previous days. Yeah, but look how cool that is. That is pretty cool. Oh, come on, that's slick. Go back some days. Now it read the information. Get some get some nignogs. I mean, I get it. Is, it. is this gonna be enough to get me to switch search engines? So that's, that's the big question. No, that is just the butter on the cake. That's let's not. Let's try image search. Let's see how good it is. Let's okay? do this. You let's try to let's do this. Let's, let's do, do this. Let's do a little comparison. I'm gonna do an image search on Google. Okay. Uh, let's think of okay, Mila Jovovich uh, Mila Jovovich uh, uh, swimsuit. Okay. It's naked. Naked? So I want to up the ante a little bit. Okay. <laughs> How do you spell Jovovich? Uh, J-O-V-O-V-I-C-H. I got it right. All right, go. Let's see what happens. Jovovich. Oh, wait, I said safe, safe search turned on. Okay, okay, number one. Nope, that's Google's the same way. I'm okay. just logged into an account where I went, don't, don't save me. Okay, Mila Jovovich naked, and search is performed. Oh, Google's kicking ass. Well, now wait. Did you actually update your oh, search? Oh, safe search is on. Moderate safe search is on. Turn that off. Okay, save preferences. Wait, did you change it to off? No, I and they set so. it in the blue. Uh, go into Shut, safe search. Stop hitting every button. Go. First off, you're already searching. I'm, I'm trying to save my preferences. Where Safe searches. Do not filter my searches. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is when the show gets really boring. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. All right. First of all, you got way better images. Well, now hold on. Did you? Did you? There oh, it is. You boy. got way better images. Let's let's compare image one to image one. Okay. You got you got some cho chocha. I got some boobies. <laughs> Mine's a really yeah, but it's it's bad it's, it's you know that's hard? we do because the search says so. But now here's the crazy thing. So we got the same we got the same image there. 
<laughs> so okay, so hold on, and I see I click so click on an image, click on an image. Okay. Because this is really cool. Click on an image. Okay. All of the previous images are still here, so you can jump through all of the images uh, on the left. Smells like. Uh, I've got to go back, dude. But Google's doing the same thing. It's still in a bar, right? Do you see? You're not noticing what I mean. Sorry. You're just saving images and Mila Jovovich <laughs> naked on your desktop. <laughs> First off, that I see what you're going uh, up against. I mean, come on. <clears throat> Am I not right? So, but, but here's the thing. So, so Bing has those images instead of like Google has the big thing. Guys, see, room. these are all the other images, so you can jump I mean, through all. I mean, Mila Jovovich, Brad, Brad, you're not. You're working. You're not paying attention to the content. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, whoop, she's getting fucked. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I should have put safe search back on. All right. Anywho, so I'm gonna. I, I think that Bing is is you know what? Bing, Bing Bing did it Bing did it. So I, the jury's still out, but at least I'm gonna try mm. because I usually try to do this when a new search engine comes out. Like what was that? Wolfram came out, and I was like, Wolfram I don't even know Alpha, how it dude, it's the best. How does it even work? I try to search for something that I want information on, and it doesn't even come back. It's like, dude, you can do the craziest shit with Wolfram Alpha. It's computations. Yeah. Like what? you tell, be like, how much does my arm weigh in pickles? And it'll be like 14 jars of pickles. And you're like, how the fuck? <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, so it's really useful information. It does, I see. It does crazy shit. Thank you, shit. internet. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, prayer? Yeah. He's like, yeah, 14, 14 <laughs> jars. 14 jars. They fucked my shit up. Was, yeah. Was Dude, I'm such a big fan of pickles. That's how, I, that's how what's his name? One of the human head weighs eight pounds. Oh, shit. I don't know who what's his name is, but. The, I will. <clears throat> Anyway, I will say, I will, I will say this about uh, about Bing. Yeah. First time Microsoft has actually came out with something that it can fucking fight Google. I, all their other yeah. attempts and other shit that I've seen has always been like, you know, live search and all. It was like, I know. Eh. That's what I'm saying. So I'm excited. I'm going to use it. And we're going to see what's happening. I should actually go through and set all of my. I wonder if Firefox oh, you know has a. Microsoft needs to acquire uh, Wolfram Alpha. Ooh, they could do that. I think. If Microsoft acquired that shit and then built it in. They, they have some, because the thing about Google, <clears throat> even though you don't try out Bing, you think like, you know what, Google's got all these crazy PhDs, it's gotta be the best. Like in the back of your mind, you're like, they got some smart motherfuckers working on these search results. It's always gonna be the best. Microsoft has always been like, yeah, there's some ASP coders up there, they sit in Redmond and they kinda don't know what they're doing, they might be okay. You know, if they got Wolfram on, on board, it could be yeah. a fucking like battle. Yeah, that's true. Not to say it's not a battle now, and I'm sure they have crazy, I'm sure the guys at Microsoft are like, uh, we actually have 187 PhDs working on this. Yeah, it's like, and we actually <laughs> created Wolfram, we just haven't told anybody yet. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm going to go ahead and set everything to Bing. It's a perception thing, that's all <clears throat> I'm trying to say. I'm sure you have smart people working at Microsoft. Yeah. I'm just um, setting everything to Bing so I can <clears throat> all right, next try it out. Today. So I can do it, do it and give it a, give it a five. <clears throat> Your story. Next story today, man gets tased, mocks cops, and gets away. 2,769 huh, people have dug this story submitted <clears throat> by Average Digger. <laughs> well, we'll only play a few seconds and then the tasing. So here's the thing about Let's this. Let's wait until he starts getting religious. Yeah, right. we got to skip to that part. Here comes the tasing. The guy is fucking. The guy is tweaked. Like, be, he is more tweaked than naked wizard. Right. Tweaked. Now let's watch the tasing, which is actually awesome. Taser's out. Bam. He's like. He says, I'm defending myself in favor of that. And he just starts he's, running. And then he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> now, first off. The taser didn't seem to affect him. It's because he's high on fucking BCP and everything. That guy was he like. He ran like a motherfucker. I'll give you that much. Like, dude, I know. That dude didn't look to be in good shape and all of a sudden started <clears throat> sprinting. Well, bro, when you're scared, your legs go faster than you think you can go. You know what I mean? We should get tasered on the show. Nope. Just one time. Nope. I'll bring a stun gun in. You do me, and I'll do you real quick. First off, that sounds horrible. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, only if I get to tase you first. Okay, but only for a fucking quick second. Okay, but then you can fire off. Uh, what? I don't think you can do just a quick second. Can you? No, no, we're not talking about the ones that shoot you and inject you. We're, we'll use the stun gun and just go. Bro, I did not want. My arm's gonna be like. Whoop! <laughs> uh, that's bad. Uh, but 
here's the thing, and we've talked about this on the on the thing. Excessive on the show. <laughs> Excessive force on the cops point is bad form. However, when a cop says, "Bro, I'm going to arrest you." There are only two ways that that goes. One, fuck. Yeah, all right. Click click. Right? Because cop when cop says you're arrested, you're arrested. Boom. Boom. Two, I don't, I don't, don't take my arm, I don't, that's not, that's on you. Yeah, but that you know what? That is on you. <coughs> this time it worked out, in the end, you got away. Oh, I think in the end this guy got into way more trouble than if he had been like, sorry, I'm a fucking poet from planet Quetzalcoatl, but uh, yeah, if I'm under arrest, I'm under arrest. Instead of, how long are you going to be in jail for? Resisting arrest, being a fucking crazy person, and then evading capture. That's true. Crazy. Mm. And then his wife's videotaping. So if, unless she runs too, oh, they're just gonna walk back and go, uh, what's your name? And she'd be like, fuck, yeah, well, she's Janet Smith. She was definitely high What's too. your husband's name? Bill Smith. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, where do you live? All right, cool. And he'd be like, I'm the king of Nyron 5. Oh, cops are in my house, fuck. He's gonna go back like an hour later and just get pretty much arrested again. Same thing, except yeah. he won't be, you know, whatever. Anyway. But it sucks because you, there are definitely times when police get out of hand, like that cop in uh, Baltimore with the kids with the skateboards. Oh, who, yeah. Like freaked out. They're definitely, I'm not saying that cops are above repute. I'm just saying in certain situations like this, guy was crazy tweaky guy. Yeah, absolutely. All right, next story. Rob, I like sex, but dot, dot, dot. Harsh, poor Rob. 1,743 people dug the story submitted by OpenThink. At least... It can stay between them or not. So this chick put up in her window a sign that says, I like sex, but not with you, Rob. What? How horrible is that? I don't think that's horrible. <clears throat> How is that not horrible? Because you know what? She is basically just like, he probably was like, why are we having enough sex? Yeah. Do you, you probably just don't like sex. You don't like sex. Maybe he was going around telling people that she didn't like sex. And so her retort was, au contraire, yeah. mon frere, I like sex a fine, just not the way you sorry ass do it. <laughs> this is too bad. Well, and then you look at where it is, and it's like... Oh, no one can read that. Well, I read it from a camera on dig. Zoomed in. Zoomed in. <laughs> it's, like on the, it's like on the third story in this little tiny window on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but you know what? She doesn't have money for a billboard. <laughs> That's true. Fair enough. End of story. This is, uh, eight and a half by eleven is the new billboard. We're actually going to get into some relationship advice about some, a very similar topic in a little bit in the email. Is it the one with the picture? No. Okay. Anywho. All right. Uh, is this our last, the last story? story? Okay, cool. <clears throat> Sponsors. We would like to thank. Really, you, GoDaddy. Don't, you don't pull it up. You read off my laptop. GoDaddy starting at less than twenty-five. <laughs> don't check your laptop. GoDaddy starting at less than $5 a month. Web hosting with GoDaddy includes 99.9% .9 uptime, 24-7 support, and free access to GoDaddy hosting connection. The place to quickly install over 50 free applications. This is actually pretty cool because a lot of people that are first getting into websites, first learning about how to create their own thing, they, they hear about these great products that are out there like WordPress and Drupal, G Joomla, and, Joomla Drupal. and all those things. They're like, oh, there's real, there's documentation. This is like a single click and it installs it for you and you can get going. Um, takes all the headache out of installing a lot of this stuff. Um, being sure to check out, get all the details at GoDaddy.com. Plus into the code DIG5. <laughs> Did when you just you say being sure to check out? <laughs> plus into the code DIG5 when you check out and get an additional $10 off any order of $40 or more. Bing! Sure to C check site, out. Seaside for details. Uh, get your PC in at GoDaddy.com and be sure to check out revision3.com slash GoDaddy for all the GoDaddy <laughs> deals and codes. Successfully read. Uh, Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice of over 6,000 new and classic titles across all consoles and handhelds with plans starting as low as $15.95 a month. Gamefly members, members can rent one to four games at a time, keep them for as long as they like. So don't go out and spend $60 on a new game. 15 bucks a month, you can just keep recycling through games. It's epic. Uh, there are no late fees, no due dates, shipping is always free. Once you get done playing the game, you can send it back to, to Gamefly. We'll send you the next available game on your list. And if you really like the game, uh, all you have to do is simply click Keep It on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discount price. Gamefly will even mail you the case and manuals free of charge. Dignation fans get a two-week 
free trial when they go to www.gamefly.com slash dignation. Same sure as the price these have for details. Gamefly! Netflix, thanks to Netflix for sponsoring this episode of Dignation. With Netflix, you can rent over 90,000 titles, including lots of Blu-ray titles, with free shipping both ways to your home. They now have over 40 shipping centers, so almost all deliveries happen in just one business day. The Netflix plans start at just $4.99 and go as high as $249.99. <laughs> Those plans allow you to have about 30, 37, stop switching tabs, 37 <laughs> Blu-ray titles out at a time. As a new member, you can get a no-risk two-week free trial membership. Check out www.netflix.com slash Ignatian. And remember the www because if you don't, the internet dies. That's true. WWW would be the end of the internet. You would think Netflix would be like, well, you know what? We should probably make the site work if there's no WWWs. You'd think. <laughs> Also, guys, if you haven't checked out the coverage that we've been doing over at the Totally Rad Show for E3, has been so much fun. We had a blast. Uh, uh, check it out. Sweet. That's all I got. That's all I got. Last story of the day, cricket player kills bird. Bing. 734 people dug this story. Submitted by Rudy Moen. And Rudy Rowe. Hold on. Who is this dig user? I've never clicked on a dig user icon until just now. Oh, interesting. And now on. I know what kind of icon i got to put up. Let's, this cannot be a real dig user. Clicking, <clears throat> Wendy, you wanna get a close up here? Yeah. No, no, that's not a real dig user. It says, I'm a 21 year old dude who joined dig ah. on December 28th. Yep, that, that's uh. That's, that's just an that's image clearly... that they wanted to use because they liked ladies All right, lingering. They, they tried to trick me. <clears throat> well, All it worked. Right. You so dug he, into his profile. All here, right. here we go. This is a cricket player killing a bird. We, neither of us have seen this. Oh. But it's uh, still an entertaining and enthralling affair. Is this like Randy Johnson? Get the. All just wide of short mid wicket. In the air for a moment or two. I don't understand cricket. No, me neither. There's sticks. It looks so easy. It's like golfing, but. Well, I don't know if I'd say easy, but. Don't you just have to hit the sticks? Was it when he threw it? Don't act like you know how to play cricket. Oh! Oh, it was when he threw it. Oh my God, that's oh, hysterical. Time, Charles. Balls hit a pigeon, and the pigeon is no more. Wow! Was that the throw from the fielder that hit the pigeon. We need to have a look at this again. I hold my head. They're going. Jim Rudolph is the man who could have the pigeon's blood on his hands here. We just need to check out exactly what happened. Right, okay, let's have a look at it. I think we can reveal exactly what happened. Rudolph did the fielding. He gets the ball in the air. And... Oh, are ball. you kidding oh, me? Oh, my God. God. Holy crap! Pigeon. Poor old pigeon. Holy shit. Cricket looks fun as hell, to be honest. It does, but whoa, my like God, that was hysterical. The guy just like throws it and it's like, da, 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 talk about the worst place to fly. Well, you saw the other one, right? Yeah, the pitcher. Yeah, Randy Johnson. Yeah. Right. All right. Let's do emails. Yep. All right. First email. Alex and Kevin in Hawaii. This is from Liz. Aloha, Kevin and Alex. Sorry I did not win the Dignation on the Couch Contest to have you uh, come and look. I don't know what, I just lost everything. Uh, but thought if you would have to come, it would look something like this. All right. Oh yeah, I wanted to make a life-size cube dolls of you both, but this is what my budget would allow. Partial life-size Dignation cube dolls and uh, <laughs> me Mehana beer. Can we get hooked on Fox as Maui, a fucking sponsor? Maui, <laughs> we seriously Pale need it. <clears throat> my dad worked with the owner on this recipe. He's the best brew master ever, Gary Ambrose. If you read my email on the show <laughs> and my photo, mention my dad's name on the show and I will send you a six pack. And the lays that you are both, that you are both wearing, meaning the guys who are our cube dolls. Uh, Aloha, Liz Ambrose. The models are uh, Arnie Lamberg and Mike Barron and Mihana Beer. Maunaki Pale Ale. What up? Thanks, Liz. Check it out. Dude, uh, <laughs> isn't that great? <laughs> right? Oh my God, dude! How freaking awesome is that? We look like uh, we look like the uh, the movie Airplane, uh, like yeah. the, the the guys that are the blow up dolls that are sitting in the cockpit. How great is that, dude? 
Yeah, she's cute, dude. Liz, thank you so much. That's hysterical. Yeah, thank you, Liz. I like the above and beyond, man. You guys definitely went above and beyond. That's killer. That is awesome. Any Hoover. Next email. Let's <laughs> say any Hoover ever again, <laughs> dude. All right, we hawking. <laughs> Next email. Girl, help needed. Oh. From Brandon. Brandon, we are here. Hey, Kevin and Alex. Big Toronto, Ontario. Booyah to ya. <laughs> booyah, Brandon. Um, I love booyah. I love the show and been watching since episode one. I follow you guys on TSS prior to Dignation. Booyah. I am 17 and I just got started seeing this girl. We've been hanging out for almost two months Ooh. and we are now dating. Oh. Last episode, you guys talked about getting jealous with your girls. Yes. Well, for some reason, I get jealous easily. Sometimes I, I cut myself. No, I just, I made that part up. <laughs> I made that part up. I made that part up. And if she drives home <coughs> from school with another guy or talks uh, to me about other guys a lot, I seem to get jealous. Is this normal? How did the guys that overcome this annoying thing uh, to do with girls? Thanks, guys. Brandon. All right. I will say, yes, it's normal. I will. Very normal. And two, I unfortunately have to say that as I get older, that happens less and less to me. But also, the longer you're in a relationship, that happens less and less. And I don't quite know the scientific reasoning for that. Um, so I think grinning and bearing it is a good idea. I would be honest with her. That's one of the things that I would say is to be very honest and say, look, I'm having these feelings, and I know they're irrational. Because clearly, giving some guy a ride home from school does not mean you're going to jump in his pants. Although, at the beginning of this, we did realize that, God forbid, she gives him a good night kiss. You never know what might happen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll say this. I'll say this. Think of it this way. Preach, baby. If you're talking to her and she's just like randomly being like, oh, you know, blah, blah, such a good friend or whatever it may be, and she's with you, don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, it's not a big deal. Yeah. If you think she's bringing it up time and time again, to bother you, to like get under your skin, True. and to make you jealous, yeah. then what you need to do is be like, hey, listen, this isn't you just joking around and being like, hey, I had a good fun time, or I yeah. really like hanging out with this person. If she's talking about a guy the same way she talks about her other girlfriends, it just might be a good friendship. But if she's taking it too far, that's when you gotta be like, hey, listen, I think you're doing this. If you say you're not, fine. And then if she still keeps, continues to do it and trying to make you jealous, yeah. walk away, dude. You don't need her. Plus Move the, on to something else. The other thing to be aware of is if you allow her to have guy friends and, and you're cool with it, she's gonna appreciate that. If, if you are constantly the guy that doesn't allow her to just have guy friends, what it, even though that's not, even though it's not a trust issue to us, for them, it's a trust issue. It's you don't trust that I'm right. in this relationship with you, and that's a bad thing. And I will say one thing. So this is what I have learned as I've gotten older about this. Because I used to, when I was younger, I used to get really jealous. Like if I had, yeah. I had this one girlfriend I dated for five years, and if she had other guy friends or like went out, like if I was working and she, she had to go out with guy friends and party, I'd always be sitting there like at home, and I'd be like, oh, I wonder what she's doing, you know? I yeah. Because I, I was kind of uncertain, there. you know? There, yeah. I think the easiest way to get over this stuff is you think like. You, you kind of just have to like understand that one of the big turn-ons for them is the fact that you can trust them. Yeah. And the less you pay attention to it, and the more you trust them, the more they're going to be hopefully honest and, and, and trust you with with similar situations. Yeah. And then you realize also if it doesn't work out or it's not working out. Yeah. Who cares? There's so <clears throat> many girls out there. It's just so not meant to be. It's yeah. not a big deal. It's not worth getting worked up over. It's really not. It's Agreed. just like. If she, if you find out six months later like that she cheated on you one time, you're like, you know what? I'm moving on to someone else because yeah, this isn't the person I need to be with. There's better people out there if that's what's happening. Exactly. And there's people out there that will be, that you, they'll trust you and that you can trust and you won't have to feel weird about. Does that make sense? Perfect. If you would like to have your email read on the show, please feel free to send it to <laughs> dignationfans at gmail.com. That is it for this week's edition of This Here Dignation Show. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time, namaste. Be good to yourselves and to each other. Yes. And to prayer. Oral kisses to for everyone. <laughs> this is Insights from the Experts with technology tips for small businesses brought to you by HP. Well, you know, it's really about being more energy conscious in your business. What I've really found is that our job, as part of our business, our job is no longer to do our own PR. 
Our job is to get other people to do it for us. I think there's three things you need. One, you should get the smallest device that fits your profile. Second of all, internet connectivity is critical. Thirdly, have a way to access your applications and save them through the cloud. Arg, arg. Automatic, archive, redundant, restorable, generations, and happiness. Okay. So the number one key to success, I think, for entrepreneurs is flexibility. If it's not working, dump it. If it's working, try to do more of it. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it, right? Yeah. I just break it. Break it. Break it. Break it.